all on a journey Different locations, different dynamics You've called us to worship you But we love you Love is the thread that binds us together Keeps us connected We celebrate
What we touch with our souls is the edge of what always will be. There's still light for this earth and it shines from a rough cattle stall. And it's burning unquenchable salvation, sweet mercy call. Searching have light now wherever they are For those who are looking can still see that Bethlehem star Good evening and welcome everybody. This is so exciting. We have looked forward to this for so long. Nigel, show them all your Christmas jumper. Nigel has a Christmas jumper. Now, if we really are too dark, we'll change the mood lighting, but we'd <laughs> love to leave it like this because it feels all Christmassy. We've got our twee, we've got our Christmas throw. We haven't got any dog sitting on that chair. Oh, Toes is down there. He's fine. Good evening and welcome. And thank you, thank you, thank you for wasting an evening with us. No, joining us for Songs for a Winter's Night. Who even knew? We didn't think this would be possible. This is our pub vibe evening with all our guests and friends. You are all so talented. Now, guys, because there are so many of you, I'm not going to keep up with the Facebook messages. But it is wonderful to hear that you are all here. So, just to give you a rough outline of what's going to happen tonight, we have 10 marvellous acts for you. How amazing is that? <laughs> I know, you haven't even heard them yet. Calm down, you're going to be fine. Okay, so you have just heard two songs. The first one was one of my lockdown um, um, inventions called Says the Lord, and I hope you enjoyed that. And the second was Star from the super talented, and we know him well, Mr. Chris Betts. So thank you so much for sending that, Chris. That was amazing. And uh, so I want to talk you through roughly the shape of the evening. So we've got these 10 wonderful acts, and you've got us live in the room in between. We've also got a quiz for you. So every now and again, you will hear this. And I'm going to ask you a quiz question. Okay, so ears peeled when you hear the sparkle. So your prize for your quiz question is an enormous bundle of CDs of artists that you've heard tonight, plus a CD that doesn't even exist yet. How amazing is that? You will be the first to get it. And that's the Hope Stream one that comes um, coming at the beginning, um, at the middle of December. They're going to tell you more about that um, when they do their video. So you've got a quiz. Now, 
you hear the sparkle, I ask you the question, but you do not put it in the comments. Otherwise, everybody will know the answers. So you personal message Nigel, me or Cherith Music, wherever you found this link, basically. And when you've all got the answers right, because you will, they're not hard questions, we will then just draw one out of the hat and that wonderful blessed person will get a great dollop of CDs. And uh, we'll also, at that point, tell you who that is. Uh, this will be tomorrow and probably just tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, uh, it certainly won't be today. And um, then we'll tell you how much money we've raised too. But we're over £100 already. And I think everybody has been touched by St Margaret's and we want it to continue as a wonderful facility. So let's get on with the music. So if we were at the pub now, this song's for a winter's night, came to us as... Um, a song that I, we've known for years, haven't we? Yeah. Basically, I, I wasn't very musically literate in terms of normal music. I was Mrs. Classical Musician, and so Nigel took me on a path of normal music, and uh, he took me into a chap called Gordon Lightfoot, and this is one of our favourite songs, and it's called Songs for a Winter's Night, and that's why we call this, and yeah, just a little connection. And so we traditionally, don't even ask, what's a tradition? <laughs> anyway, but this is a new tradition, but anyway, the tradition is that we play this one at the beginning of Songs for a Winter's Night. I've even got a microphone, my goodness me. Here we go. Wow. And actually, 
actually that song's become all the more poignant because holding hands with people we love <laughs> is a real challenge. I mean, it's okay if you're locked down with that person and you haven't murdered them yet, but you know, if you are a long way away from people that you love, I feel for you and we pray for you and it is all very challenging. So various people are asking various technical ex ex uh, things. Guys, we're gonna keep going, but maybe other people who are clever can answer questions. People are saying things like, we can't get this in Facebook on our TV. I don't know why that would be. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Oh, and the other thing was Crime I forgot cards. to go. You did? No, no. Things it's not my foot. I forgot to do it. Oh dear, I'm a load of rubbish. Oh, now I've got to get it off my foot. I'm really, really <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so basically, Louise, you usually play the bells for me and you would have been marvellous and I was totally rubbish. I'm fired. Okay, so people, it's wonderful to have you here. I'm going to introduce our first act. So this is the wonderful Rough Round the Edges. Oh no, it wasn't meant to be that. It was meant to be that. I'm so sorry, Ruffies. Ruffies, here we go, people. You are amazing. Hello there. We are Rough Round the Edges. Firstly, I'd like to thank Rowena and Nigel for inviting us to take part in this special evening of celebration. Ruffies, as we are affectionately known, are John on mandolin and whistle and vocals, Kitty on violin, Susie on keyboard and whistles, Louise on recorder, jingle bells and vocals, and me, Andy, on guitar and vocals. We are starting this set with a lovely Christmas song, Mary Did You Know, which was written by Mark Lowry in 1984 as part of a church Christmas play. The tune came much later and was written by Buddy Green in 1991. Mary, did you know?
going to play a tune for you now. This is a, a traditional Irish carol called Don Ithi Udi Mahil, or in English, That Night in Bethlehem. sing a little song about Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake and the chorus has a list of ingredients which you can all shout out when the time comes and, and Lou is going to hold up the pictures of what the ingredients are. As I sat in me window last evening a letter man brought unto me a little gilt-edged invitation saying gil holy come over to tea sure i knew that the fog it is scented so i went just for old friendship's sake and the first thing they gave me to tackle was a slice of miss Fogarty's cake there was plums and prunes and cherries and citron and raisins and cinnamon too there was nutmeg rolls and berries and the crust it was laid on with blue there were caraway seeds in abundance just were filled up a fine stomach cake but kill them and twice not the latest spice of this forgetting Christmas cake American wanted to taste it, but really there wasn't no use. They worked at it for over an hour, couldn't get none of it loose. Till Fogarty went for the hatchet, and Kelly came in with the sword. That cake was enough by his powers to paralyze any man's jaw. There were bones and brooms and cherries. And citron and raisin and cinnamon too There was nutmeg rolls and berries And the crust it was fed on with food There were caraway seeds in abundance Just to fill up a pint of a cake But kill them and twice after the Christmas Christ and his heart is in Christmas cake Miss 
Fogarty proud as a peacock Kept smiling and blinking away Till she fell over Flanagan's brogans And spilled the whole brewing of tea Oh, Gilhooly, she cried, you're not eating Try a little bit more for me, see No thanks, Miss Fogarty, says I but I'd like the receipt of that cake. There were plums and fruit and cherries and citrus and grapes and, and cinnamon too. There was nutmeg, gold and berries and the crust it was laid on with glue. There were caraway seeds and almonds just what goes up a bunch of my cake. You could kill a man for his chocolate and buy some his father's Christmas cake. With a colic, Mark Naughty complained of his head. The curtain lay down on the sofa and saw the tree where she was dead. Miss Daly fell down in hysterics and then she did wriggle and shoot. And every man swore he was poisoned through eating his pockets his cake. There was some that fruit and cherries. And citrus and raisins and cinnamon too. There was nutmeg, gold and berries. The crust it was nailed on with glue. There were caraway seeds and abundance. Those were two of the first points of the cake. You put kill a man twice a day. Just by some his pocket is Christmas day. that wonderful tune at the end absolutely fantastic and the amount of work that that takes this is not just five people standing up together at the pub with their instruments that's an enormous amount of work so congratulations guys that was a huge success so people it's time for question number one get your paper and pencil ready so please don't put it in the messages, all right? So welcome anybody that hasn't arrived. That sparkle means this is a quiz, oh, that hadn't arrived before I said that. You've arrived now, I'm so glad. I do apologize. Um, so yeah, that sparkle means there's the beginning of the quiz. You're going to win a wonderful CD happiness bundle. So you are going to have um, your first question. Question number one. I need you please to name four of Miss Fogarty's Christmas cake ingredients. Just four, okay, there were plenty to choose from. Some of them were upside down and some of them were inside <laughs> out, but it didn't matter. Louise, you did a great job. That was the funniest thing ever. And so that was your question number one. All right, people. So <laughs> we're really not choosing to sing miserable songs, but this is our next song and it's a little bit miserable, isn't it, Nigel? But in a good way. Now, Fred, I always think of you, Fred Prime, if you're there, and any other bell ringers that are there. Bell ring is, ringing has been one of the joys of lockdown and uh, just to hear it every six o'clock in uh, the church beside the house here has been fantastic. It's a call to prayer to remember to pray, but it also just reminds us that we're not beaten, you know, we can, we can fight this thing. So this is uh, Bells Are Ringing and this was written by Mary Chapin Carpenter. I hope you enjoy it. All right, nice. No candy, no treat, no stockings hung by the fire. No parties, 
no family to greet, no angels, heavenly choirs. Bells are ringing all over the world. Bells are ringing, calling the light. Bells are ringing all over the world, all over the world tonight. doorways, no windows, no walls, no shelter here on the ground, no standing and no safe place to fall, just the promise of this distant sound. Bells are ringing all over the world, bells are ringing, calling the tonight, whoever you're waiting for. Somehow, by the stable's faint light, peace in your heart is restored. Bells are ringing all over the world. Bells are ringing, calling the light. Bells are I hope you've enjoyed that people. Would you believe it? The software we're using has just offered us an update. So we're just going to say no to that, I think. Remind me later, Nigel. Yes. <laughs> That's just priceless in the middle of something, isn't it? Goodbye world. Excellent. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed that. And Fred Prime, I know, and you and all the lovely bell ringers, you give us all hope. It's wonderful. So, um, we have another artist lined up ready for you. So let's give Mr. John Wood a big round of applause. <laughs> and John is going to introduce himself. This is fantastic. Right, good evening. Um, thank you for the opportunity of being involved with um, Songs for a Winter's Night. Thanks to Nigel and Rowena. Um, I was asked to sort of introduce myself and try and give this um, a video a little bit of a live feel. So um, I'm going to make loads of mistakes and <laughs> mess it up completely so it'll, uh, it'll appear completely live, I can assure you. Uh, well done to Nigel and Rowena for getting this going. Uh, it's such a shame that we can't actually do it live um, this year because one of my uh, functions is normally to provide all the sound equipment and I absolutely love uh, messing about with that and mixing the sound which is which is great fun and we get so many great artists which is uh, obviously makes my life a bit easier if, if you're mixing uh, good quality performers so um, anyway my name is John Wood um, I live in Chapwick uh, I grew up originally in Liverpool I uh, had all my school days in Liverpool. Uh, we then moved to the Midlands. I had 20 years there. And um, I've been in Somerset, uh, oh, I don't know, 25, 30 years, which uh, I guess starts to qualify you for being a local, but probably only just, just about. So I'm going to do two songs for you. Um, the first one is The Power of Love, which was done originally by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. 
Um, it's also been covered by lots of people and, and this is the song that's the sort of slightly Christmassy number. Um, and then I'm going to follow that with uh, a song by a guy called Alex Clare, uh, which is a little bit more upbeat and it's called Too Close. Okay, so here we go. Dreams are like angels, they keep bad at bay. Love is the light scaring darkness away. Hey, I'm so in love with you. Okay, the uh, next one is uh, Alex Clare. Put the cap off. Yeah, no. 
Thank you very much, and I uh, hope you raise lots of money for St. Margaret's Hospice. Okay, good night. That was amazing, Charlie! Which is brilliant, and I loved it when he said he'd, have, he'd do a real live performance, mistakes and all. And uh, who even knew? But John very kindly has lent us some equipment to do with tonight. So thank you, thank you for a wonderful microphone, SM58, industry standard, uh, but with a bit of play. Oh, makes me feel lovely. So um, yay. Christmas jumpers are us. And there's a wonderful thread about mulled wine. And apparently, did you even know? You don't have to pay for it tonight. You just have to make it yourself. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry, that's not funny, is it? Right, people, are you primed and ready? We have the second question in the quiz. Remember, your answers do not go in the mess in the comments here. They go to a personal message when you've received all of them. So that is just tremendous. So here comes question number two. So it's to do with the act we've just had, our John Wood. In which city did John spend his school days? In which city did John spend his school days? Hope you enjoy. Get that one ready. So, uh, ooh, oh, it is my total privilege to uh, invite some more guests to the stage. And they are wonderful friends. I couldn't even begin to tell you how long we've known them. Caroline and Andy Barton. We love you. Good evening. Good evening. It's great to be with you this on this special occasion. And we feel really privileged to have been asked to be part of this evening. Is it special? Is it special? It's a very special occasion. Yeah, we're yeah. Very, and we're it's very special privileged. because it's been organised by Nigel and Rowena, who are two very special people. And very special friends. Yeah. So we're Andy and Caroline Barton. Have you already said that? Uh, no. no. Anyway, that's who we are. We're Andy and Caroline Barton, and we're old friends of Nigel and Rose. And um, yeah, we're going to sing a few songs for you uh, this evening. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. We pray that something of the spirit of the songs comes through and, you know, uh, we've got a bit of a fun, fast one. So um, if you can get the hang of it, sing along. We won't be able to hear you. It's fine. <laughs> Bless you, Nate. <laughs> so rude. That'll do. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's fine. God bless. We're off. Bye. Bye. God, press stop. I'm no, sending that tonight. I'm sending the whole lot. Yeah.
fills my senses when my blindness keeps me from your touch. Jesus, come when my burden keeps me doubting when my memories take the place of you. Jesus, come and I follow you there to the place where hesitate to do it but I'm gonna anyway because that was just awesome <laughs> but I did take a moment didn't I just to go ooh, the clarity of that voice I can't tell you how long it is since I've heard Caroline and Andy sing and I was harmonizing but you couldn't hear me because we were on mute and I used to sing with Caroline when I could and oh you've lost nothing on that voice girl you are amazing thank you so much for doing that for us that wow so, are you ready, people? It's time for question number three. Remember, not in the comments, personal message at the end when you've got all the questions. And so, question number three, in which town are Caroline and Andy based? In which town are Caroline and Andy based? So, every year, 
for Songs for a Winter's Night, we finally remember it's Christmas and we decided what date Songs for a Winter's Night would be and we finally try to learn a new song. Oh, I tell you, it's a struggle, but because we've had so many Songs for a Winter's Nights over the years, that's why we've got a nice repertoire of Christmas songs and one of these years we'll get around to making a Christmas album. One day. But it hasn't happened yet. So um, this is our new song and um, it is written by a band called Sovereign Grace and it's called He Who Is Mighty. Now, we did manage one socially distant rehearsal with my lovely friend, Sparkly Sarah. And so we are missing you, but you are the most glamorous granny and uh, I hope and pray all is well in your world. So this is the version without Sarah. <laughs> we just do the best we can. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> It's called He Who Is Mighty. Mercy our God has shown to those who sit on death's shadow. The sun on high is the night, born was the cornerstone. Unto enjoy learning new songs and it is so important to us and um, people often say gosh thank you for doing music and it really helps and it lifts our spirits so actually what I'm gonna say is you help us 
musicians are horribly needy people. We need people to listen to our music. It's kind of why we do it. There are some people who just enjoy taking a guitar into a corner and, and um, playing a song for themselves, but that's not me and that's certainly not Nigel. And so you being here makes this happen for us. So we can't thank you enough for choosing to be with us tonight. So we have another lovely friend that we're going to introduce to you now. This is the super talented Sean Everson. <laughs> and I'd just like to say that we want to say thank you so much to Margaret Dobbs for playing the piano for this one. She's invisible in the video, but we know she's there. She's playing beautifully. And uh, also for Johnny Herbert for pulling the video together. And I believe he did that for the Ruffies as well. Yes. An enormous amount of work. So congratulations, Johnny. It worked brilliantly. And thank you so much for doing that. Sean, over to you, my lovely. Hello, everyone. My name is Sean, and I'd like to sing for you one of my favorite Christmas songs. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Saviour's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared. Oh, 
was another ooh moment. Sham, thank you so much. You're in wonderful voice and the joy of it really came through. So we will give you. <laughs> Absolutely, but we just needed to pause that before, Jen, to just get that ooh moment. Thank you, thank you so much, lovely Sham. That is amazing. And people are saying it was their one of their all-time favourite songs. So great choice, girl. Amazing. So we have another wonderful act for you. Uh, this is a four in the fire coming up. And I just want to say to you, if you are a beard loving person, you need to lean into the screen about now. Here are wonderful Dylan and Liz. Hello. Um, as you might guess from the slightly strange environment in which I'm standing, uh, we had big plans and hadn't accounted for the fact that our tiny tyrant might decide to change them. Uh, we'd wanted to uh, just get all set up and do this sort of uh, little slot for Songs for a Winter's Night all in one spot, um, one take, make it feel like we were there, uh, we were all together in a room, which of course is what we'd all love to be doing. Um, but Baby had other plans, so uh, it's going to be um, cuts between parts of what would have been one thing. We hope you can bear with us. Uh, we hope that you're having a good time. Uh, I'm sure it's great. Some of the other uh, people that we know are, are doing things for tonight are amazing and we love them. Um, and Ro and Nigel are always wonderful. So we hope this finds you well and safe, that through all of the difficulties of this year that uh, you've been finding some joy and some peace in the moment. And uh, we hope that you enjoy these songs. Anyway, uh, God bless. There's no kind of talking going on in the rest of it. We're just going to cut from song to song. And uh, God willing, at some point in the future, we'll get to do this in person again uh, and uh, get to see your lovely faces and enjoy the company. This has always been one of the highlights of this part of our year, and we're thrilled to be a part of it. Right. Uh, now for an odd cut and uh, to the slightly more wintry Christmassy setting of our fireside.
Might have another one. Oh, sorry, people. There might be another song. I do apologise. Hello. Um, as you might guess from the slightly strange environment in which I'm standing. Sorry, I've done something. <laughs> what have I done? You missed out song, but not to worry. Sorry oh, about that. Oh, I'm sorry gutted. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Are you sure there's nothing we can do to... Um, no. You told me to. <laughs> you definitely told me to. Sorry about that. Oh, Nigel. Oh, that's such a shame. Sweetheart, I do apologise. I love the setting. So Christmassy and so wonderful. That's really thrown me now. I feel bad. Um, I'll just Come on, I Nigel. Can, uh, Nigel, you forward. can do it. So, bear with us. Bear with. Bear with. This could be interesting. With bears. <laughs> it was never going to go smoothly, totally, was it? Really? Oh, we're doing really well. <laughs> doing really well. Okay. I so, think we want one more, don't we, we people? We will get... Dylan, and then I will try and move it forward, okay? Yep. Here we go. Hello.
Wow, uh, that was definitely <laughs> worth waiting for. Right. No idea how you zoomed into the fire there, but oh, the warmth. We feel like we've had a big hug. That was amazing, Dylan and Liz, aka Four in the Fire. Honestly, ask busy people and look what you get. Such quality. That was amazing. Have we had the ooh moment now? Yeah. yeah. No, it's really cheesy. It's just sitting there in the pot, so it's what you call canned. Okay, people. I feel like fairy somebody should pop out from yes. somewhere, lad. It is time for quiz question number four. Are you ready? So, who changed four in the fire's plans? Okay, in the introduction, Dylan said somebody changed their plans. So, who changed Four in the fire's plans. That was question number four. Yay. So we decided you can't do uh, uh, songs for a winter's night without a bit of Cliff. And he was 80 <laughs> this year. He's been part of my mum's life. He's part of my life. Uh, the dogs know him well. Um, you know, we all know him, don't we? So we have chosen to do Saviour's Day for you. I hope you enjoy it. Everybody get swaying along. Oh, Jan, this is your cue to tell everybody about Dirtle Door. Dirtle Door, yes. Jealous. Are you ready, Lloyd? One, two, three. One, two, three. Now we have been through the harvest. Winter has truly begun. the chill of the night we are waiting for waiting for for the saviour's day many have come from the valleys many have come from the hills many have started Had 
to be done, didn't it? A bit of cliff. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for that. Woo! Oh, gotta be done. So Jan's telling everybody about the amazing time. That's just fantastic. And somebody else says that's their favourite song, so that is just awesome. We didn't know, of course, but hey, wonderful. We are having the best evening. I hope you guys have got lovely nibbles and drinks and you're all enjoying yourself as much as we are. Now we're going to need a huge round of applause for a wonderfully talented young lady. We always love to encourage young talent. Um, I was looking through some photos of about now and four years ago we had the wonderful uh, George Ingram singing to us up at the pub. Uh, last year we had Annabelle Gilmore and this year I am delighted to welcome Megan Carpenter to Songs for a Winter's Night. It's her debut performance with us but she's been singing um, oh for some years and she's very very talented indeed. So let Let's hear from lovely Megan. Hiya, I'm Megan and I'm going to sing Save Myself by Ash. God damn, the high side 2020 poured rain all over my sunny. Someday this will all be funny. Oh, we were cooking, playing milk and honey. Dysfunctional, I was a junkie Someday this will all be funny, oh I know everything worked out the way it's meant to be But honestly, if I had the chance I would take it back Jumping off your sinking ship instead of going down with it, oh Your phony, I was never yours, oh Oh, I could have saved myself Time and lots of money Could have saved myself Oh, I shouldn't blame myself I kind of saw it coming Could have saved myself Red flags tended to ignore them White flag never sent a soaring So hard to forget it in the morning, no I know everything worked out the way it's meant to be But honestly, if I had the chance I would take it back Jumping off your sinking ship instead of going down with it, oh One day I'll be good, right now I'm just mad Over being so much your phony, I was never yours, oh Oh, I could have saved myself Time and lots of money, could have saved myself From wasting half my twenties Saved myself from you I could have saved myself Time and lots of money Could have saved myself Oh, I shouldn't blame myself I kind of saw it coming Wow, fantastic job, Megan. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
lots of wonderful encouraging comments as well so make sure you read those Megan take them to your heart and hold them because you are a special lady fantastic love it when youngsters are singing songs about being in their 20s and they're really not there yet but anyway that's absolutely <laughs> fine good girl absolutely amazing thank you Oh, floods of hearts for her and well-deserved, absolutely amazing. So the next performer very, very graciously said to us, I'd love to do something for you guys. What would you like me to do? So I got to pick. So this is our wonderful, I'm going to call him friend, um, somebody we've known over the years and he came and did a concert recently at Shapwick. So some of you will know him too and you'll all have been singing his songs over the years and just not known. So this is Mr. Paul Field. Woo! And uh, I chose um, Ring Out Wild Bells, which is a version of the Alfred Lord Tennyson poem uh, that he does like no one else. And he wrote this. It's awesome. absolutely thrilled I chose that one because it is incredibly challenging it's a song I want to do one day though I can just hear handbells doing the riff for that one absolutely amazing so the next song that he chose uh, he literally chose himself and again it's one of his own compositions it's such a poignant song called Katie's Christmas this will go right to your heart I hope you love it as much as we do She wants a present, but 
But it's nothing we can buy All the money in the world Can't wipe the tears from her eyes She's so sad and lonely She feels her heart won't mend And all she really needs to have For Christmas is her friends Somebody who will understand She's outside looking in She just needs someone to take her hand So her Christmas can begin So remember Katie's Christmas When the world just isn't fair And the joyful celebrations For some hearts are never there And the greatest gift that we can give Is the love that we can share So remember Kate, it's Christmas Say a prayer Say a prayer wonderful lyric will stay with me always uh, not the things we get but the love we give so thank you thank you Paul and I hope that helps all of us to just think about the decisions we're going to make over this very unusual Christmas and the decisions each and every one of us will make will be the right ones because they'll be the ones tailor-made for each and every family and only you know so bless your heart thank you so much for letting us have those precious songs that was huge. Wonderful. Let's give the boy a round of applause now the yeah. ooh moment is gone. Yeah. Sounding a bit similar, this audience. Are you finding that? <laughs> Wonder why. Okay, people, are you ready? It's time for another question. This is question number four. 
Uh, no, probably even number five. I do apologise. So, which of Paul Field's songs, that's the chap we were singing just now, Paul Field's songs, are we going to sing tonight? We haven't done it yet, so you haven't missed it. Listen up, all right? So that's a question for in a minute. It's a future question to get your listening ears going. Okay, so Nigel and I are going to sing again for you. This is a song called Long Way To Go. And for the life of me, I can't remember who did this song. I did say mm -hmm. Carolina Arends. Oh, of course it was. Carolina Arends. And she's mm -hmm. a lovely Canadian lady. We love to do things of hers. Mm -hmm. There was one song for a winter's night. Do you remember I had no voice? Yes. And Sarah had to take the lot. And she did a brilliant, <laughs> brilliant job. So, but this is my chance to sing this one, Sarah. Love you, bye. <laughs> Here we go, night three.
it's like lighting the blue touch paper and basically we've got all these keyboards and we oh, haven't God, used them more. in forever and it was time to get them out and give them a good blast woo, 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 woo. so the little floor in the room here yeah <laughs> amazing oh boy did we enjoy that was fun. and sarah says she's doing the harmonies oh, oh i love you sarah, sarah. One, one, one. that's wonderful that's okay where are we at <gasps> Huge privilege. We are going to have a round of applause right now for our next act, who are called Hope Stream. Yay. We have been making them wait until now. <laughs> you are amazing people. Ben and Polly, we love you. Here we go. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Um, really good to be here with you, um, even though we're not in the room with you. Um, so we're just going to do a couple of songs from our album, actually, which uh, we were just talking a minute ago, actually, about how this first song we're going to do mm. uh, was the kind of uh, the first one that we wrote for the album. Yeah. Um, and then jokingly on the way home, uh, I think one of us said, well, we should record an album. That would be fun. And now look at the living room, you know, it's got a studio <laughs> in it and everything. So It was embryonic at that yeah. stage, just a few tiny ideas and, and a massive handful of songs from mm, Sue. From but Sue, but yeah. actually, the songs that we've produced on our album are, are new. Yeah. They are yeah. all new ones. And I think actually written. at that time, Steve wasn't even uh, in the band, no? was he? And then we got Steve on board, so number yeah. four. But of course, there's only two of us tonight because lockdown. Yeah, Sue Crossman and Steve Richards are also in Hope Stream and they can't be here tonight. So we've got Ben and Polly and we're so glad to be here with you. We are Hope Stream Worship and this is Come All Who Seek.
Oh, it was fun singing that again. Yeah, it was. And uh, when we recorded that one, we had a group <clears> of <throat> um, friends from Just Church. Yeah, so there's a congregation on it, along, yeah. which was fun, wasn't Our it? Our yeah. CD's going to be out soon, yeah, actually. Yeah, so December the, the 5th, yeah. uh, it's on release. Yeah. Mm. Uh, on... And we have a website as well. Yep, so yeah, so that's hopestreamworship.co.uk, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. And uh, we are so happy to be here with you, Nigel and Ray. We miss you. We miss you so much. And uh, we're really happy for everyone to be joining us. Thank you for joining us this evening. We're going to sing I Believe. Oh, look, the screen saves. Oh, no. That's no good. I must have got an email. <laughs> and um, we've got a... A live worship event that's going to be online that's coming up on the 19th I think so yeah 19th it's yep. the Saturday of December yes. and it's going to be um, that's going to be a fundraiser as well details on Facebook yeah, <laughs> yeah so you can Come and join us. Hope you're enjoying this evening. Um, we will definitely, we will be watching. We are watching. <laughs> you ready?
Thanks, guys. Joining us. And Enjoy we the rest of your evening. Hand yeah. back to Nigel and Ray. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow, wasn't that amazing? Just amazing. As Susie uh, has written, you know, they made it feel really live in the room. <laughs> so, that is your Christmas present sorted, people. Tomorrow, the digital release. And then there will be a physical copy, which will be uh, part of the prize that you will be winning, whoever wins this amazing bunch of CDs. So you've got two of Nigel and mine, you've got Chris's star, you've got Rough Around the Edges, you've got a Caroline Bonnet, we haven't heard from her yet, but we're about to. And then of course you've got the new CD from uh, Hope Stream. So here is your final question. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you're still, um, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to say any more about anything. So number six, your question number six, your final question, who sadly was missing from tonight's performance that belongs to the band Hope Stream? So who is missing from the lineup of Hope Stream tonight? So uh, we're looking for... The answer to that, please. Thank you so much. Right, Nigel and I are going to sing you another song. We're coming towards the end, people, but yeah. it's just brilliant that you're still with us and we're going to keep going. And I am trying to do something. What am I trying to do? I have no idea. Right, I'm going to sing a song. This is by Matthew West and it's called Leaving Heaven. It's one of our favourites. Well, it's been real nice living way up here in paradise over the atmosphere. But I can't stay long, gotta make my way. Yeah. 
worth you should know you're the reason why i'm leaving heaven na, 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 na. and when my time comes to an end i lay down my life like the truest friend and when i get gonna make some room so don't you worry I'm coming back for you and you will say goodbye to this broken earth you're gonna walk on streets of gold and if you ever wonder what my love is worth you should know was Matthew West's Leaving Heaven. And that wasn't half bad, Mr. Steady. Let's give right. ourselves a burst of that. Yay. Woo! Yay! Woo. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a little drink of water in a minute, but we are flying through. This is such, such fun, people. And uh, I'm so glad you're enjoying this. Thank you, thank you. Um, right, it is time for our final extra act our, our final act of the evening apart from ourselves so this is the wonderful caroline and shirley in a they're in the most fantastic setting and it is my favorite possible carol thank you so much girls for doing this hello thanks to nigel and rowena for inviting me to take part in this evening and uh, make this video for you uh, my name is Caroline Bonnet and this is Shirley Novak and we'd like to play for you a Christmas favourite of ours uh, called In the Bleak Midwinter.
stop. That was stunning. What a fantastic performance, Caroline and Shirley. You are something else on that bass, girl. Fantastic. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm the overwhelmed. hearts are flying. Uh, they And so they should. So there is an album of Caroline's in the giveaway with your six questions. And uh, we are going to send you on your way with our last song. And normally when we do Songs for a Winter's Night, we pray protection on your journey home. And guess what? You already made it. You're there. So who even knew? And um, this is just a lovely song of blessing uh, by the wonderful Paul Field that we heard from earlier. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. hardly believe it we've come to the end of our 2020 songs for a winter's wow. night that song for us is like giving you all a hug and uh, that's what we hope and pray your Christmas will be all about bless your heart so take care don't put your quiz and answers in the comments <laughs> put them in personal messages to us and we will let you know who's gonna win this wonderful CD bundle Thank you to everyone who's given CDs. That's really, really kind of you. And it only remains for us to say good night and God bless That's you nice. all. Oh, my word. Yeah. We love you. Good night. Bye, bye. <laughs> Here comes the jumper. Yay. That's my jumper again. <laughs> we will look at every comment. <laughs> we will treasure each one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. <laughs> See you Sunday. Bye. Yay.